In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Mark, chapter 13, verses 1 to 8. Then, as he went out of the temple, one of his disciples said to him, Teacher, see what manner of stones and what buildings are here. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you see these great buildings? Not one stone shall be left upon another, and that shall not be thrown down. Now as he sat on the Mount of Olives opposite the temple, Peter, James, John, and Andrew asked him privately, Tell us, when will all these things be? And what will be the sign when these things will be fulfilled? Jesus answering them, and began to say, Take heed that no one deceives you. For many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and will deceive many. But when you hear of wars and rumours of wars, do not be troubled, for such things must happen, but the end is not yet. For nation will rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there will be earthquakes in various places, and there will be famines and troubles, and these are the beginnings of sorrow. These are the beginnings of sorrow. For many, many years we have been at war, there have been earthquakes. But Jesus said to us not to be deceived by these. Yesterday was Remembrance Day. It was a special day because it was a hundred years since the end of the First World War. And of course, we thought of many things happening in the past. How so many soldiers gave their lives for their country. Sadly, it wasn't the war to end all wars. Not that long later, another war broke out, another world war. And of course, it has been continuing in some part of the world. Wars. And we often hear on the news about famines and droughts in different parts of the world. What does it all mean? What does it mean? It was the beginning, as Jesus said, of sorrows. It's the beginning of us to prepare. Prepare for the coming again of Jesus Christ. It's the beginning. Today is the beginning of the new liturgical year and we go then through all the cycles. It's also the beginning of Advent. Preparation time leading up to Christmas. And we celebrate the birth of our Saviour, Jesus Christ, who became man for us, to save us. It is the beginning. Let's remember that. Let us prepare ourselves during this Advent season prepare our souls for the coming of Christ and we remember his birthday 
But also remember, Jesus said he would come again. And not listen to those silly people who think they know exactly when he is coming. Because of wars and rumours of wars and drought and famine and everything else. This has happened since Jesus walked the earth. It was the beginning of sorrows for us all. It's a wake up call for us too. We must remember to prepare ourselves for the coming of Jesus Christ in all his glory. We must be prepared. We will have times of sorrow which for us humans is fairly normal for various reasons. As I just said, yet yesterday we celebrated, or shouldn't say celebrate so much, but remembered those who gave their lives in the First World War. It was a hundred years since the armistice was signed. And over the, over the decades, there have been many more wars, sadly. Many sorrows for many people. Focus on what we're supposed to be doing now. It is preparation time. Preparing to meet our Saviour Jesus Christ as he sits on the judgment seat to judge us all. Pointless us waiting until that happens because once that happens we don't have any more time to change our ways to repent for our sins. Luckily we are, we are reminded by the church that this is what was needed. John the Baptist was telling the people when he was baptizing to repent, to turn back to God. Thinking many things that happened during the wars, the persecution of the Jews, the death and destruction. And people would say, how can there be a God that let this happen? It was, it was that time for us to focus, to focus on our Heavenly Father. Focus now during this preparation time. Repent, for Jesus is coming again very soon. Make the most of the time we have, of the time we have left. Things are going to happen very soon for all of us. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow or next week. It's going to happen. Don't leave it to that last minute when you're on your deathbed because then it is too late. It is too then to, too late to repent and turn around and do what Jesus wants us to do. To love. Forgiveness is what we should be asking for. 
for all our many shortcomings, every one of us, every one of us, need to ask God for forgiveness. So, be prepared. Make the most of this Advent season. Prepare ourselves. Prepare our bodies and souls. Fasting, praying. That's what we should be doing. Don't worry about going out and buying Christmas presents or food in for the house. We can do that. But take care of your soul first. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.